Hello, it's Wednesday, October 19th, and I'm Natalie Woods with your UFX Markets Daily News. The U.S. dollar weakened against most major currencies after Germany and France said that they would boost the size of the European Rescue Fund. Wall Street closed positive as Nasdaq increased by 1.63 percent and the Dow Jones increased by 1.58 percent. Crude oil rose by 2.3 percent, the highest level in four weeks, closing at $88.34 a barrel. Gold weakened by 1.40%, closing at $1,652.80 an ounce. Today, building permits are expected to lower to 0.61 million versus the prior 0.63 million. CPI is expected to be at 0.3% versus the previous 0.4%, and core CPI expected to remain at 0.2%. The euro fluctuated against the dollar after Moody's Investors Service cut Spain's government bond ratings, which fueled concern that the region's debt crisis would spread. German ZEW economic sentiment came out worse than expected at minus 48.3 versus minus 44.8. The euro dollar's momentum continues to be bearish below the 1.3810 level while the next support level on the one-hour chart is located at 1.3680. Overall, Euro-Dollar traded with a low of 1.3652 and with a high of 1.3817. Today, current account is expected at minus 7.3 billion versus the previous 12.9 billion. The Euro-Dollar last traded at 1.3798. The pound weekend versus the dollar, reversing an earlier gain, after inflation exhilarated to match a record high in September. CPI released at 5.2% versus the previous 4.5%. The pound dollar's positive trend has been halted after breaking the 1.5800 level, and only if the pair break up again at 1.5800 will the pound be bullish again. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 1.5631 and with a high of 1.5821. The pound dollar last traded at 1.5737. The Japanese yen traded with a very narrow range against the dollar, continuing to trample within the 76.50 to 77.50 levels. As long as the pair remains between these levels, the trend will remain stable and with unclear momentum. Overall, the dollar Japanese yen traded with a low of 76.63 and with a high of 76.91. The dollar Japanese yen last traded at 76.68. The Canadian dollar rose versus the U.S. dollar as stocks in crude oil, which is Canada's largest export, strengthened due to optimism on market following Germany's declaration. As long as the pair is trading below the 1.0200 level, the U.S. dollar's momentum is on hold. The moving average indicator on the one-hour chart support a negative trend for the U.S. dollar, and the next support level is located at the 1.0050 level. Overall, U.S. dollar CAD traded with a low of 1.0111 and with a high of 1.0263. Today, leading index is expected to rise from 0.0% to 0.2%. The USD CAD last traded at 1.0118. Thank you for joining us today. For more information, please visit us at www.ufxmarkets.com for all your online trading needs. I'm Natalie Woods, wishing you a happy trading.